to Subhanahu wa Ta'ala with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, uh, Flappelli Solo Collector and uh, Data Extractor. How can we, uh, we have the model and we already uh, uh, going here and setting our going to my folder, my destination folder. Okay, going to my Flappelli Collector model and double clicking. Okay, that's our uh, model now. How can we extract our data? We have many types of data to deal with. First, if you are going to use a single point iteration, you can you have to set this uh, uh, simulation time into zero. Okay. Now we are going to uh, use our some inputs in order to get some outputs. It's a design model. First of all, it's a design model. So uh, we are going to use uh, some boundaries such as input. Uh, temperature, in, input uh, water temperature, uh, what is the main load, uh, what is the outlet uh, temperature, okay. First of all, we have to double clicking here, let's go and I'm going for emphasizing, yes, control plus, clicking in control plus or control minus to emphasize increasing the size or decreasing, okay. First of all, be sure that you have to assign some operating conditions such as uh, operating hours. Suppose you have a swimming pool and you would like to uh, warm it up or increasing the water temperature. What is that? What is the uh, operating hours? Suppose you need, uh, as a design, as a designer, you have to. Uh, suppose you are going to. Uh, preheat the water uh, load by within uh, uh, eight hours or five hours. Suppose it's uh, uh, eight hours, okay, sunshine hours. And we have to assign uh, solar radiation, uh, what per meter square? Suppose it's, uh, I would choose a, nor uh, um, a normal or average value, suppose it's uh, 600 what per meter square, average wind speeds, give it a point one uh, meter per second okay uh, ambient temperature uh, I will seek um, average temperature 25 elite water temperature suppose elite water temperature is just 20 uh, degrees Celsius it's degree 20 degrees Celsius and our targeted is around uh, 50 degrees Celsius. We need to increase from 20 uh, up to uh, 50. Okay. B based on uh, 600 watt per meter square and eight hours. Okay. Another thing: what is the volume of the, of, uh, of from 20 of uh, 50 degrees Celsius? What is the, our volume? Suppose we need. Uh, to use around 500, 500 meter cube as a volume storage tank or swimming pool, whatever uh, your target. You, you 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 can choose one one meter cube, uh, point one meter cube, uh, 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 just a, a storage tank, small storage tank with with 75 liters or 100 liters, okay, 100 liters. Uh, it means point one meter cube uh, as a volume. Okay, suppose I'm going for a uh, large space, it's uh, 500. Number of uh, glass cover, normally one, one glass cover. Uh, tilt angle, suppose it's uh, uh, 45 tilt angles. This is quite normal. And uh, glass emittance, I will keep these uh, parameters. Glass emittance, uh, plate emittance. Uh, overall uh, losses, edge losses, this is quite normal. It's, it's around 0 0.1, 0 0.15, uh, let it be 0.15, okay, hit apply, and uh, plate emittance is normally uh, around uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0.95, it's okay, okay, bottom losses, it's around 1, okay, a tube spacing uh, and uh, tube diameter 
we have for flip pre collector as you can see in this side photo it's a, just a tube suppose i'm going for uh, uh, just two centimeter uh, tube okay and pl plate thickness five millimeter uh, suppose it's a copper thickness for, if you are going to use aluminum you have to change uh, as a material semiconductivity based on your plate material your plate material is is copper usually we are using this value you can uh, extract this value from scientific books from index from appendix you will find uh, this var these values of uh, different materials and so on, and so on. Uh, tube spacing uh, suppose i'm going for uh, 10 uh, centimeter spacing between each tubes between tubes okay and we have to hit apply for this. Hit apply, okay. Going into our model, okay. This is this is our model, okay. Let's emphasize here. Don't forget to set this your simulation time uh, to zero, okay. And first of all, we have to double clicking here on on, on this or each stream. This is your outputs. As you can see here, these are your inputs, okay. These are your inputs, and these are your outputs. Okay, what are uh, our outputs here? A plate temperature, okay? Mean plate temperature, uh, solar total area, uh, so solar feed area, uh, thermal load, um, mass flow rate, so the, uh, the field, overall heat losses, um, Fin efficiency flow factor heat removal factor uh, flow factor uh, efficiency of the collector exergy if you double clicking on your uh, model you as you can see here uh, here you are this these are your code representing your uh, flap liquid water uh, flap liquid collector this is water it is not uh, any other uh, you can surely uh, change this you can copy this and you can um, put your uh, phys another physical properties for for example acetylene glycol or any other uh, oil whatever ferions but first of all you have to uh, for data inspector this are this is your data inspector button you have to check this but if you are going to work dynamically with time with respect to time but now we are going to uh, use um, uh, zero. Uh, this this is our uh, iteration model. I keep it at uh, 500 initial iterations because we have a loop here. Okay. Okay. Uh, you have to add a, a, a name, a, a, a tag to your stream here. You just double clicking, and you can add name this stream it's it's quite favorable to name your stream and double clicking and select this this uh, uh, if you uh, because I already checked it I, so I removed it so I have to double clicking and select the stream signal so this signal is going to be stored on the signal inspector uh, in case we are going to uh, work dynamically we, we have to to realize the changes and so on. So let's hit run, let's stop. I'm sorry, saving and hit run. Okay, let's collect our data. Um, I'm taking a little bit of a while for depending on your computer. Okay. Uh, I'm just waiting. Okay, so our plate temperature is. Uh, so you will find uh, nothing here. You will find just point or lines because uh, there's no time, uh, there's no dynamic modeling here or dynamic running with respect to time. So there's no need to explore uh, these plots. For uh, plate temperature, it's around 120, quite normal. This is mean temperature. Uh, it's around 52 because we are target. Our target is 50 degrees Celsius. Quite uh, interesting. 
So we need for 500, 500 meter cube as a volume and eight hours beside from 20 up to 50 degrees Celsius, we are going to, uh, to use 4,986 meter cube as a whole plant area. So it depends upon you as a designer um, uh, if you are going to decreasing as a uh, as a time limitation, dec increasing the volume, decreasing uh, your target temperature. It, de it depends upon you as a designer. So with, this is your thermal load. It's 2,000 kilowatt of thermal load, and we ha we have to put in our mind that we are going to use. 17 kilograms per second. It's quite high for flap collector. This is normally uh, overheat losses. So heat removal factor is around 0.6, quite low. Um, the flow factor is around 0.8, normal. Flow factor 0.79, normal. Uh, fan efficiency 0.96, very good. Uh, Exergy destruction rate, efficiency, of solar field is 0.7 and if exergy efficiency except total exergy and based on area and um, uh, and um, solar radiation so this is total exergy so this case is for uh, sure you can go for your, your workspace suppose you need to save your data in workspace you have to go here i think yes model configuration parameters okay i'm sorry you have to oh no not this one you have to go here uh model explorer i'm sorry model explorer going to flat plate uh, collector model F fbc water it's okay now as you can see here here are um you will find here inputs and outputs all parameters so suppose this is plate temperature Click on description and save final value to workspace and hit apply. Uh, mean pellet temperature, save final value to workspace. Uh, solar field, I mean your important parameters that you are going to address. You can save these values to workspace, mass flow rates, quite interesting, overall heat losses, okay, uh, heat removal factor, okay. Uh, fan efficiency, uh, flow factor, this is fan efficiency, okay, a uh, flow factor, okay, this is our operating hours if you, in case you are going to uh, draw some figures, solar radiation, uh, wind speed, and but these are inputs, I, I, I don't need to, to check this, if you would like, in the temperature, okay, outlet temperature okay uh, more maybe uh, efficiency collector efficiency uh, and exergy and total exergy and exergy destruction rate i collector is exergy destruction rate okay and uh, this this is your volume okay enough for this hit apply okay saving if you hit run again you will find these values uh, are yes these are your values here so you can deal with easily you can add all of your inputs and outputs okay but these values are in uh, as a point so you will find it as a point you will not find a matrix or something like this suppose i'm going for uh, infinity with respect to time so you have to set your simulation time to infinity it's quite interesting okay after that after you set this you have to go to the, your mother block and double clicking to specific your specification menu and turning back again to sub block okay so you have to uh okay um, let's go in here okay this is your dashboard you, you can click here and going to dashboard and add dashboard scope if you would like 
and double clicking I choose your stream I'm not I'm not going to do this again okay okay uh, closing yes for uh, okay this is our menu okay uh, um, a specification menu okay let's go here and hit run dynamically and make some changes at the same time of, of running let's hit run okay and go down here and okay let's see changing let's begin changing changing solar radiation i'm increasing solar radiation up to 700 okay 800 okay uh, and increasing our targets it's around suppose it's uh, uh, 50 uh, up to 60 degrees Celsius. I suppose I'm going for 65 de degrees Celsius, and my inputs temperature would be at uh, 21, 22. It's quite good enough for this. I I'm going to reduce the load, okay, or increase the load. It's up to you. Suppose I'm going to increase the load 7, 8, 800. Uh, um, 900 1000 meter cube and then I, I, I would like to decrease again down to uh, 100 let's go for uh, 100 150 load keep these things uh, until the temperature till the angle and uh, meters and all, all of this uh, stuff you can keep it just okay um, and hit stop so you will find your outputs uh, okay so this is your variation based on your uh, based on your uh, input selections and uh, so you can use many many of uh, you can use your uh, um, your experience with with MATLAB and uh, by uh, utilizing how can you uh, how could you extract your outputs you can use uh, for example a signal inspector okay and you can use here uh, going to sync and you can use uh, xy graph and you can uh, i'm not going to utilize this now okay okay our data are stored okay this is our area this is the last point uh, solution this is your last time solution going here you you will find this data inspector uh, turn it to yellow so you have a, a, a some outputs here you have to click here click here on your data inspector okay and going here so this is our first run second run okay what are the third one what are the third one okay these are outputs if you would like to add more outputs you can go here to your your uh, your model i'm sorry for it a bit slow okay as i told you before you can double clicking or your stream and set stream signals check this one you will find this small square uh, here as you can see here appeared it, it has appeared here so as you can see here and you can add a name just double clicking on the on the stream i'm sorry yes and you can add uh, a tag name for your uh, I'm sorry uh, okay add what you would like to uh, to add I'm not adding anything okay I'm just want to remove this one okay returning back to your inspector okay that's an inspector here so just clicking on your figure you can uh, use how many figures you are going to the use okay nine figures okay plate temperature as you can see here uh, mean plate temperature okay uh, collector efficiency okay uh, thermal load and flu mass flow rates and overall heat losses i will check some parameters as an example heat removal factor okay um, efficiency factor and uh, flow factor okay this is your uh, dynamic run and these are your results so you can check here uh, you can send to figure you can export your data it's easy you can export this in a math file in x file with respect to time so you can 
click export and you can to save to workspace or uh, into a mat file you can check here uh, okay and save your uh, your data easily and deal with your uh, your uh, outputs another thing another thing let's go I am um, let's close this one okay another thing that you can let's go here again and double clicking here and returning back again okay I'm closing similar model browser no need for this okay I will change I will make another dynamic run I will make another dynamic run and compare results on the same figures let's hit run again and see our uh, outputs okay as you can see here okay let's decrease our uh, solar radiation down to 400 for example down to 400 okay okay 400 reducing solar radiation and re reducing uh, uh, LED, uh, feet temperature down to uh, so you are increasing the gap between temperature massive thermal load so I have to decrease the uh, outlet uh, solar collector temperature this this is our target okay as you can see here reducing to um, 50 degrees Celsius reducing this would reduce your um, solar field uh, total area what about increasing uh, the solar the volume the thermal load volume increasing up to uh, increasing or decreasing it's up to you as a designer okay okay and returning back again okay okay increasing up to 1000 okay let's hit okay and stop our simulation time you will see the difference okay you you will see the difference you will see you will see the difference between uh, your data okay as you can see retaining as you can see here there's some uh, completely uh, different results going to your inspector again and you'll find your runs here we stopped at third run as you can see here this is our fourth run okay uh, let's go here waiting I'm sorry my, yes this is my fourth run so for plate temperature click on your uh, figure here and hit plate temperature for fourth run this is it for the third one we are here in the fourth one this is your third run okay I'm in fourth one okay as you can see here this is a complete different result so you can compare between the effect on so of solar radiation and your parameter you can uh, change one parameter you can change two parameters and you can change many parameters mean plate temperature results okay uh, the collector efficiency okay so we can make many many runs and compare all runs on the same figure it's it's very very nice superb results as you can see here this is mass flow rate i'm sorry this is thermal load i'm sorry this is mass flow rate i have to close this one and check this okay i'm just waiting okay okay um, okay this is for mass flow rate not for thermal load and this one is it is not this is thermal load not collector area okay thermal load yes this thermal load okay we, you have uh, two runs as you can see here two runs okay and this is uh, overall heat loss overall heat loss here okay and heat removal factor let's go and see heat removal factor okay and um, this is the efficiency factor okay completely different completely different between all this is a flow factor let's go for flow factor so uh, it's quite interesting so you can compare many results you can add many runs uh, into your model and compare between each other let's 
closing this one okay finally i i would like to thank you very much for your interesting in our model uh, don't forget to like share uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much let's liberate the